Well, I'm out of ideas. Well, what is Kylie it? Minogue. <laughs> Kylie Minogue. Queen of England has lunch with Kylie Minogue. I don't Take know Kylie. French Kylie Minogue. Oh, hi. Ouais, ouais! Here come the Merci beaucoup! Merci infiniment! It's very lovely to meet you, Kylie! Oh, I love your hand, it's so soft. Uh, we had your president here last ah, week. Yes, we did. Uh, and he was not, lovely uh, as well. Look, the audience are off. Oh, that's and correct. <laughs> oh, you know, if you wear these on your eyes when you go to sleep, uh, yes. there will be no wrinkle in the morning. Uh. Less French, more Kylie Minogue. Okay. Okay, um, more so, 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 is that it's Australian? So, so Australian, French. Now. Keep going. Yeah. How do you do the Australian accent? I don't know. Uh, your, your accent's closer to it. You, you're not a million miles from Australian. Well, we're close. Er. I'm talking as an Englishman, so I'm just hearing. Are you guys a, are you guys a another suggestion, another suggestion. Terrible, Our pile's terrible. gonna be terrible. We need another suggestion. Another, who, who would the queen, who do you want the queen to have lunch come with? Come on, come on, give Karl me something. Marx. Give me, who? Karl Marx, Karl Marx. Karl Marx. Queen of England has lunch with Karl Marx, take one. Mashed cucumbers and sandwiches for you guys. Oh, yes! How lovely, more cucumbers. Yes! How lovely, thank you very much. Thumbs up. I've suddenly started talking <laughs> at the Queen Mother. Would you, would you like a cucumber sandwich, Carl? <laughs> Who are these made by? The common people. I would hope so. And they like working for a monarch, <laughs> actually. <laughs> They're very happy doing that. I'm slightly talking like Beryl Reed, and I don't know why. Same character. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I think so, I'll just take what have you been up to, Mr. Marx? <clears throat> I've been photographing nude women. Can I, can I, can I, sorry. Can I, can I, Marx, okay, so the same, Karl Marx. I think we're done with this bit. Yeah, all right. That's really? right. All right. This, could, this is this, this is, is flowing like glue. Like, you want to you want to do another one? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Cookie monster. Cookie monster. Okay. Oh, one more. Someone's phone. Someone's phone. Hopefully that's Someone get the phone, phone first. Wait, hang on. I gotta take Karl Marx would have never worn Karl Marx, that. No, no Karl Marx wouldn't have worn no, that. No, he wouldn't have worn that. No. Okay. Cookie monster. Queen of England has lunch with Cookie Monster. Take one. Oh, thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. There you go. Yeah. Blah, 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 I'm not really sure who the cookie monster is. <laughs> cookie. It's very good. There you are. Have some more. Go on. Go on, eat up. Eat up. There's a war on. <laughs> Any fish? <laughs> Cut, cut, cut! This is over! This is over. This is over. Thank you. So is, is, uh, this is going to be a new TV series, is it? This is actually going to be in the BBC Three. What I like about it is it's really thought through. <laughs> <laughs> it strikes me... Everything we do here is really yeah. well planned. No, it strikes Very me as well an planned. idea that really you've invested a lot of time and effort in. No, well, I think that's We have taken several weeks. <laughs> to reach that point. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this thing here actually yeah. took months to plan. Yeah, no, you no, no. I mean? yeah. You know how yeah. much time this can take? Uh, well, I'm, I'm guessing it could take weeks. Yeah, just yeah. the idea. Minutes yeah. in the weeks. Yeah, minutes in the weeks, even seconds yeah. sometimes. Yes. Yeah. On, yeah. on with the show. Okay. Okay. So this the is poor band. One, yeah. of, one third of the band has left. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Did he have? Is he okay? Yeah. Are you sure? He looks like he's getting up now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's seen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. My friend. Okay. Yeah, he's probably taking a poop. They played it. Oh, they're taking a poop. Yeah, he's yeah, taking a poop. He's taking a poop. He's taking a poop. <laughs> Mark, announce the show. Yeah, okay, we're going to do a, a, a quick music interlude. Uh, yeah, to end segment one of the show. <laughs> end of segment one. <laughs> through the first part of the show. Good job. Good job. Great work. Do you think they know it's the same person? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's <laughs> magic. So we're going we're gonna to bring up a, a very special guest. Chris Neal. Chris Neal, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Want a beer? 
it. Uh, I will have another one now. Yeah, <laughs> it's lovely. Thank you. Is that kind of day for you? You normally drink during the middle of the day? Uh, not as a rule. On a, on a Wednesday, no. But, you know, it's not every day I play the queen with a blonde wig. So. <laughs> So what did you think about our writing? Was it great? Was it, wasn't it wonderful? Isn't I'll it... tell you what, Mark, I feel really bad. Okay. Uh, was your co-writer said to me, look, I'm quite happy to do this myself unless you want to do it. And I said, look, I'm very happy to dress up in a size 14 Marks and Spencer's dress and put on a blonde wig. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I failed to do anything with it. And, and you were being great as the Lord <coughs> Chancellor and Karl Marx, and I just... And I stymied it for you. No, and you, I, no, I you really no, carried it no, forward. No, I ruined that because prospect of you having a BBC free series. That people want to see the Queen, though. Is the room full of monarchists? I doubt it. Are you a monarchist? I can be persuaded. Really? Any Jews in the room tonight? <laughs> right there. What the Jews got to do with it? I have no idea. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> oh, they okay. hire the monarchists. I tell you what the I Jews love about the internet. The monarchists. Yeah, that you can see how the monarchy is a Jewish conspiracy. <laughs> it is. Yeah, no, you're right. It absolutely is. <laughs> you're right, you're right. It is. I mean, it could be. So wait, so what do, what do you do? You're a comedian. I am a comedian. How did you do yeah. that? How did you become a comedian? Well, um, um, oh, but I'm a, I'm a comedian. Oh, I do stuff Lord. on the radio and uh, live stuff uh, around the country it's in the UK. Here, it? it is hot in here. It is hot in here. I can't and believe you're not sweating. Look at me. I'm sweating. Yeah, but you've been running around with banners. I've yeah. just been standing feeling embarrassed. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a different thing. It's a chilling feeling. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly thought it was a voice in my head. Um, <laughs> it's like the poor band. Do you? I really. Do you play together? Because I heard you on the trumpet earlier. On your own, outside, in the real world. But you all play together. They were on a break when he was playing, but they were, I think they're fantastic. I do too. I think they're very good. Yeah, let's hear it for the band. Yeah, and, and, and the real fact of the matter is, and this is absolutely true, they did play at the Queen and Prince Philip's wedding in 1948. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Factoid machine right here. Yeah. Who'd have how guessed? Do, how, how did you go into comedy? Wait, 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 you're a producer. What do you mean by that? Uh, well, I make radio comedy programmes okay. and I've made a few telly comedy programmes and uh, so I used to work for the BBC, mm -hmm. but now I mainly am a, I'm a, a comedian. So would you thing. produce this to make it real, make it happen? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I think it's, it's one tiny strand of a much bigger show. Right. And it's, it's the tiny strand in the much bigger show that will get cut. <laughs> yes, indeed. <it> will. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you you're know talking what I mean? about. I feel like I feel like I've been through that process enough times that you can just cut to the chase and go. Rather than pretend it's got anything going right. for it, you could just go, Mark. I love the idea of somebody, especially a queen playing the queen. Irony upon irony, and uh, that you notes? could do that, uh, and that could be good. But I feel that you, at this point, you just cut it out. You just go, no, there are other things. But your Karl Marx, your Karl Marx, that is something to be worked on. I think that is very good. You. Your go. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, really, that's really in high demand, too. <laughs> Karl Marx impersonator right here, everybody. Yeah. It's big For and high. high. <laughs> yeah, it's huge and high. Everyone wants to see a Karl Marx impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. What kind of marketing advice is that? <coughs> well, I, I've not worked in Hollywood, so I don't know what goes on there. I don't know. Have you been to Hollywood? No. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was saying uh, to your to your writer, uh, my partner worked in LA uh, for a while. I went over there, and I thought we lived in quite a nice bit of LA, but we lived in basically the Hounslow of LA, which, if you know London, the Hounslow of London is Hounslow, and it's a shithole. <laughs> uh, and we live in a bit called Toluca Lake, which you may have heard. Oh, of. fuck that! Oh, we have new guests. Welcome to the new guests. Come in. <laughs> Hello. I bet they can't do a car march. I bet they're just thinking, oh, I've slipped yeah. into a dream. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I want to wake from. Um, 